How are you? This is Shiva here. I'm a corporate trainer and a motivational speaker from Hyderabad. Feeling happy and excited reaching out to you in this manner. Uh, we have all been experiencing a different kind of life over the last few weeks. And as you know and I know, the world has been going through a turbulent phase. It's a testing time. Testing time for you, for me, and for most of the people out there. In this hour of confusion and anxiety, I thought I must also reach out and do my bit towards accomplishing some kind of comfort and confidence and calmness. If you look at in the last few weeks, a few months, what happened? The Chinese went through the calamity. But they, but they calmed it down successfully. And now the whole world is fighting the battle with the corona. Fighting to win the battle with the corona. The Chinese already overcame it. What did they do? How did they win the battle with the corona? How could they withstand the onslaught of Corona? Is there something for other nations and for everyone, individuals and governments, to take a look at the Chinese and learn from them? I think yes. I think yes. After all, after all, they went through it. And they won war it. And they very successfully overcame this menace of corona. And how could they do it? Was it their technological progress or medical advancements that they achieved? Or their political will? Or the culture? Or the philosophy of the Chinese? What is that which helped the Chinese come out of this problem so successfully? Let me share with you a Chinese story, the story of a Chinese farmer. Once there lived a Chinese farmer who tilled his fields using an old house. One day, the horse escaped and went into the hills. The neighbors of this Chinese farmer, they pitied him. They came up to him and said, Oh, sorry, you lost your horse. It's a bad time. The farmer shrugged and said, Bad times, good times. Who knows? A week later, the horse returned, not alone, along with a herd of wild horses. The neighbors again came and they said, wow, you got more horses, good times. And the farmer said, good times, bad times, who knows. As the farmer's young son was taming one of those uh, while horses, he fell off its back and broke his leg. The neighbors again came up to him and said, Bad luck and it's bad time for you again. The farmer replied in his own style, Bad times, good times, who knows. A few weeks later, the army marched into the village and enlisted every able-bodied youth into the army. As they came to the Chinese home, they found this young man, young son of the Chinese farmer, with his broken leg. So they let him go off. While they picked up other young men from the village and took them away. The farmers walked up to this Chinese said, 
Good luck. Wow. You know what the farmer said. Good times and bad times. Who knows? He was calm and he was quiet at all times. That's what the wise people do. They remain balanced at all times. They were not overjoyed when they get something or depressed when they go through a difficult time. Let me recite a shloka from Bhagavad Gita. Dukhe Shvanud Vignamana Sukhe Shuvigatas Pruhaha Vita Raga Bhaya Krodaha Stita Dheer Muni Ruchate What does it mean? It means that the wise people are not overwhelmed in times of joy. Are they are depressed during the times of difficulty? They remain balanced. So they leave it to God. What is good fortune or misfortune, they leave it to God. And they remain thankful to God. And they believe in God. All that he does at the end, it would turn out to be good. They have total belief in him. They have faith in him. So let us thank God for all the blessings that he blessed us. Let us pray to him for blessings for you and me and for the whole world in the days to come. The governments are putting their best efforts in solving this corona problem. The doctors are doing their duty. The police are performing their best. The communities are committed to cooperate. So in this hour of need, what should you and I do? What should you be doing? I think the one thing that you should be doing is to take good care of yourself. If you take good care of yourself, that is your great contribution in this whole effort, in this whole battle of fighting the bad, fighting to win over the corona. Stay at home, stay confident, stay calm, and take all those precautions what are suggested to remain yourself healthy and help your people, your family people also stay calm and confident. And that is the contribution that you can do in this whole effort of fighting the battle with the corona. Stay home, stay safe and stay confident and stay calm. The good times, the good times are going to return very soon and it is just a matter of time. Thank you very much. Take good care of yourself. See you again in the next video. Take care.